The formula for z score is x minus the mean divided by the standard deviation x stands for any observation so if y stands for gestation period y stands for gestation period then the z score for y will be y minus the mean which is 266 divided by 16 which represent the standard deviation now b the mean and standard deviation of the standardized variable in general if the variable is equal to the mean for the z-score we're going to have the mean minus itself divided by the standard deviation which is zero over standard deviation which is zero so the mean for the standardized variable will be zero which is the mean let's see how to represent one standard deviation from the mean it's the mean plus the standard deviation minus the mean over the standard deviation mean cancel so it's the standard deviation over itself it's one so the new standard deviation is just one so one represent the standard deviation of the standardized variable a z-score of 227 will be 227 minus 266 divided by 16 so the z of 227 will be negative approximately negative 2.44 uh, the z-score for 315 will be z of 315 will be 315 minus 266 divided by 16 so z of 315 will be approximately 3.06 meaning for y equal to 227 the data point is 2.44 standard deviation below the mean because it's negative 2.44 and for 315 the z the z-score indicates that the number is 3.06 standard deviation above the mean.